Hello, uh, this is a Java program. Uh, this is one of the four challenges of the um, formative assessment that we have to do. And this specific program is the end of the rope challenge. So in this program, the goal is to find the area that a goat can roam while tied to the corner of a barn. Um, we are required to use the scanner methods in order to find the input. And so we will see how this is done here. So how this program is going to work is that the user is going to input the length of the rope. And in order to find the area that the goat is going to be able to roam while it's tied up to a corner of the barn, uh, we'll use a circle. So the length of the rope will be considered as the radius, but if it were as easy as finding the area of a circle, then it would be uh, a little too easy. So instead, since it's at the corner of a barn, that means that there are two walls in the way of allowing for there to be a full circle of roaming space. Um, and so we'll see how that's uh, resolved with the math. But <clears throat> first we'll see the main method here. Uh, the first thing to do is to create a scanner object in order to uh, be able to have user input, which will come later uh, in the second method. Um, but in the main method, all it's going to be doing is creating that scanner object, uh, getting the double, which will be the length, and actually calculating the area, which can be done pretty simply. All that needs to be done is to find the area of the maximum circle. Uh, so that's just pi, r, pi radius squared, which can be done with this given value of pi times the rope length times the rope length. And then once you have that, you should multiply it by 0.75. Now this is because 0.75 would equate to 3 fourths of the circle, which is the uh, total area that uh, the goat would be able to roam considering how the two walls of the barn are preventing it from reaching one-fourth of the circle. So it's a pretty simple solution. And then it's just going to output uh, the actual area. So the user input is performed in this uh, second method here. Um, the reason it's in another method is because the program should only be uh, acquiring an input of less than or equal to 100. So if it's greater than 100, then uh, it should the program should not accept it. And the best way to do this is with a second method. Uh, in this method, one of its parameters is going to be the scanner object uh, in order to get the user input. And so it's just going to have the rope length be input and put in as a double um, and so it'll then check to see if it's greater than 100 if it is then it will ask the user for the input again and if not then it will just uh, return the length of the rope that was input by the user which can then be used to calculate the area and so now I will run the code All right, so we're going to input the length of rope. We'll say uh, 20 meters of rope. And so it's going to calculate that out to that area. And so we can try this for basically any value. Let's say, uh, how about um, 56? It's going to be a very large uh, area. We'll just try it one more time, maybe a smaller number, just two, and that is going to be the entire area. And that is the code for the first challenge.